So any kind of description of this person is going to be in the imperfect. El pretérito y el imperfecto juntos. Una acción en el pretérito interrumpe otra acción que está pasando. La palabra clave es cuando. Sometimes we have two actions taking place in the past in the same sentence. When that is the case, you sometimes have an action that is going on. That action is in the imperfect. And then another action interrupts that action. That is going to be in the preterite. So you have two actions taking place in the past. One interrupts another. I'll explain that a little bit more in a minute. Right now, just remember that the key word can sometimes be cuando. In addition, you can use two actions can take place at the same time in the past. Now, when both actions are taking place at the same time in the past, then you would use imperfect for both actions. And the key word for that is mientras, which means while. So let's see an example of an interrupted action and let's look at this particular example. It says, la puerta estaba abierta cuando el chico entró. Your key word is in blue, cuando, which means there's going to be an action that's going to take place in the imperfect and another one in the preterite. You notice that the action that's in the imperfect is estaba abierta. That was the current situation. That was what was happening when suddenly that situation was interrupted by the boy entering. And in the second example that you see here, la maestra enseñaba cuando el chico levantó la mano. Again, your key word is cuando. What was going on? Well, the teacher just was teaching as usual. She was going on when suddenly there was an interruption. She stopped teaching. Why? Because the boy raised his hand. So you have one action goes on and then something happens to interrupt that action. Dos acciones pasan al mismo tiempo. Again, on, here we have on our first example, ellos bailaban mientras la banda tocaba. They were dancing while the band played. You notice that we no longer have that whole used to or would translation, but instead we look at that key word, mientras, while, two actions are taking place both at the same time in the past. That's why you use the imperfect. Remember, you can't always depend on those key phrases or key words. They're nice if it's nice if you see them, but I could have also said ellos bailaban y la banda tocaba. That would still indicate two actions taking place at the same time in the past. And in my second example, ¿qué hacían mientras yo estudiaba? What were you all doing while I studied? We are talking about two actions. Both actions take place in the past. And both actions take place in the past at the same time. Mientras is your key word. Here's a list of expressions that indicate the preterite. I don't know if the movie quality will allow you to stop the movie and copy these down. If not, just go to the website, the Blackboard website, uh, under notes, and print these out. You should be familiar with them. You should be able to recognize them as um, keywords that trigger the preterite. You can see that they would be keywords because they only, these are expressions that indicate that the action has started and finished, and we more or less know when it took place. Here are some key expressions that you should have um, already printed out that indicate the imperfect. So if you look at these expressions, you can see that these are all actions that take place over and over again. You should be able to recognize them. Okay, so uh, the answer to number one, the answer to that would be D, fui. 
And the reason is because it only took one place one time last summer. It wasn't every day. It wasn't every summer. It was a last summer. That's why it is the preterite. Number three, ayer hubo un baile en la escuela y blank a una chica muy bonita. The answer to that, I hope you guessed it, is B. Conocí a una chica muy bonita. Now, the logic behind this is if you look at the meaning or if you listen to the meaning, ayer hubo un baile. Yesterday there was a dance and I met a girl, a very pretty girl. Now, you have your key word, ayer. But even if that key word were not there, you have to use logic. How many times do you meet a person when you, when you become acquainted with that person? One time. That's why we use the preterite. Two more examples for you. Let's see if you can guess it. El sábado pasado nosotros blank. Bailando toda la noche. Which would it be? The answer is B. Estuvimos bailando. Why? Because we know exactly when the action took place last Saturday. On number five, blank pintando una naturaleza muerta cuando el profesor blank. Um, blank were painting a still life when the professor blank. Okay, in this case, the answer is D, and this was the hardest one. We were painting still life when the professor entered. You notice that the action that was going on that was taking place peacefully in class is that everybody was painting their still life when suddenly, out of the nowhere, the professor entered. You notice that the action that was taking place, the ongoing action, that was the imperfect, but the action that interrupted it, that was the preterite. And now I would, uh, I 